an issue that affects us all uh, of course this is a political season and there's a lot that we're paying attention to but in the background unfolding are very harsh economic times many of which uh, political promises during the campaign season were based on now Kenyans may just have to buckle up for a tough new month after inflation for the wealth of uh, the month of August hit 8.5 percent the rise is the highest reading since June 2017 from 7 7.9%. Now, according to the Kenya Bureau of Statistics, the main upward pressure arose from the prices of food and non-beverages. And as KTN's Purity Cell reports, the steady rise in inflation is forcing many families, especially in informal settlements, to cut down on what they eat. The economic impact of the COVID-19 pandemic has left many families across the world struggling. The current high cost of living in the country is even worsening the situation, putting food on the table for many families, especially those living in the informal settlements, is now a nightmare. Consolata Othiambo, a mother of a two-weeks-old baby, is not only struggling to feed herself and her two siblings, but her infant as well. last year. this year, So, Changamoto ni pia saisi na job pia, na pia ingefa pia niende ni some. Sasa hii imebidi sasa sai siko pia home niko hapa hivi imebidi nikuje kwa Munyali nipea mimba nikae hapa jo sasa sina venye nikikaa huko kwa nyumba sina venye nitajisaidia The 20 year old mother of one says that the one meal she takes a day is not able to make her produce enough milk for her son Hata nikimweka ya nyonye itoki ama inatoka tu kidogo sasa naenda tu kulialia tu kila saa Nashinda tu ni membeba tu juwe kulialia. Pampas pia ni challenge. Jusa hii tena venye weather iko hivi. Alafu venye umtoto ni mdogo pia. Aki kwa joa tu inataka umtoe. She is jobless and lives in Kibera slums, Nairobi. Currently, she is unable to do her usual casual work. Since she gave birth two weeks ago, she has been forced to stay at home and take care of her child. Venye nilipata mimba pia, mwenye pia likuwa na support pia likuwa mekasirika, ataki story zangu. Sasa ikabidi ni kuja hapa jupia, singe itisha, nataka vitu za mtoto na niko uko. For her, life is just getting harder, and this has further been worsened by the soaring food prices, with a two kilogram packet of maize flour now retailing at 200 Kenyan shillings. Tom Bewa, still a resident of Kibera, says he's unable to feed his family. He's a border border rider, and with the cost of living rising in the country, he has noticed a drop in customers. <laughs> Their plight may just be a reflection of many other households in the country as families struggle to put food on the table. The crisis has not only hit families hard, but is now threatening to push many to the edge with jobs being hard to come by. Na ukiwa na familia, sasa inakuwa hard sana, paka atujelewi. Taxes and prices, or both, are on the rise. Sayi kwa duka, ukiwa na 500, it's like kukuna 100 bob. Hakuna kitu neza manage kufanya. The country's annual inflation rate having rose to 8.5% in August 2022. Maize flour rose the highest by at least 37% and kerosene rising by 30.5%. As the political dust settles after a closely contested poll, residents here blame the government for failing to stop the rise. Purity Museo, KTN News, Nairobi County.
Right, and when you take a look at that story, you can see the erosion of the human dignity, particularly with a mother with a 